Hi, Justine. Thanks for having me. A couple trends we noticed from this past year. The first one is that hybrid omni-channel experience, having the option to both work out in club or at home. The second trend was meditation. With added stress over the past year, it's really important to take time to relax and reflect, and meditation is a great way to do so. Then the last one being the social aspect of fitness. We are social beings. We want to be around others. So having the option to work out with a buddy or others has been a trend over the past year. Thinking about 2021 into 2022, let's talk about sustainable goals. First tip here is to remember it's not a race. We don't have a clear start and stop here. Health is ongoing. So seek things that you can do for the long haul. The second tip is once you have that goal, take inventory of where you currently are now. Think about what you need to start doing, stop doing, and continue doing. Then the last tip for sustainable goals is going to be take action. This is all talk until we start that movement, and movement creates that momentum. When it comes to maintaining those goals, three tips I have here. First one is to find something that you enjoy. Keep it in mind, we're doing this for the long haul. We need to fall in love with the process. We're more likely to have long-term success that way. The second tip is to find accountability. This could look like hiring a professional, finding a workout buddy or group, but someone that's going to hold you accountable. Then the last tip is to seek progress, not perfection. We need to get rid of that all or nothing mentality and understand that any step in a positive direction is better than not doing it at all. For more information, we encourage you to check out a lifetime if you are in the area of one. Otherwise, download lifetime in your app store. You're going to get access to our live stream classes, our weight loss programs, and our meditation sessions.